Savvy's on top in a game like that and become impossible to kill for a physical damage heavy team. Gragas is obviously going to be stacking armor here too. Braum is going to be relatively tanky. You know, even high value for Tabby. I did not see oh, Ben with any... Oh. I didn't see Ben with any cart this game. They, they have the read on this though. Braum is coming up here. They'll see if they can kill him back. They got to kill him before he gets three. Yeah, Impact is trying to keep alive on this one. He goes for the body slam and flash combo, but it is first blood over to Cloud9. Blabber is going to get tagged up and Vulcan gets the follow-up kill. This top side. Impact is far forward. He has no flash. You would think this would look pretty easy for Cloud9 to pick this one up. Darshan comes jumping in on through with the grappling hook. Fudge is making his way over, but Jojo Fune's joined up in the fight now as well. They'll only put damage onto the Trindamir, and it does. Because Impact has no TP, you're still down Flash, and you know his, ign his Ignite has come back up. Yeah, we see Fudge getting a pretty good trade on the Jojo here. Oh, he's, he's going in. Lane. He's got ult still. Red okay. Never mind. Ghost. Not going all the way in. Yeah, he got the Ghost. Uh, what I was going to say, though, is I like this setup by C9, though, because last week in their CLG series, they abused Jenkins. And so there is some good synergy between Darshan and Blabber finding these repeat kills on an exposed top laner. And Darshan with a lead knows he how to no, push it. No body slip. He's going to die to the alt. Darshan's doing it, baby. There we go. The comeuppance gets the kill. And Darshan. All right, tower's dead, but I'm going to... I'm be chilling here. You just have to hope you don't get spotted on the way out. Camouflage lasts forever as long as they don't walk right next to you there in the brush. He's cool. Does he kill him? It's actually hilarious. If he kills he's, him. He's gonna go for Is it. Is this really gonna work? Oh, he's doing it. Darshan. He's definitely going for it. The split second. He's hoping the other recalls are finished, and we'll, we won't know if they have. Danny flashing away. C9's bringing him back up of their own. Isles is here. Here comes the first strike from Karthus. Danny's gonna die to come up and tries to heal through it. It doesn't matter. Inspired being locked down. <laughs> 1v3 double kill Darshan. And how do you slow this down? Because no turrets have been broken yet. Still 11 minutes in. It is a 2k gold lead. We'll see if they can make a play here. Man, they're looking for Jojo and they're gonna find him real easy there. He's already dead, but it is a one for one. Make it one for two almost, but not quite. Flabber barely gets away. Super Mega Death Rocket gonna be intercepted there by Isles and Vulcan. Manages to get it with a Winter's Bite at the last second. Impact is mad. He's going oh, after Trindamir. EG brings it's aggressive this. play from here. And then even chasing down Fudge. C9 are on the Dragon, but EG are here. EG's trying to fight it. JoJo's made his way over now no as well. Blabber. Blabber has no flash. He's not getting out. Isles can at least run away from this one. But that will be the Drake over to C9, but a kill back for EG. Sven gets over the wall. Jojo's still looking for him. Goes for a flash. He's got the root. The zap comes out. A double kill for Rise. But now Jojo's got to get out. And that's the green light for EG to take their second turret of the game. And this was what I was, was kind of saying about not being able to take turrets for Cloud9. The map is still relatively constricted. Like, you want to really yeah, spread out. towards now. armor stacking. I think C9 really loses a lot of their options in this game because I just don't think that Akshan is going to give them mid push. They're going to get this for free and they can fall back onto that dragon. I would think that Cloud9 would be spending this time split pushing, but they're actually looking to contest this objective. Yeah, I think there's like one down here. They got nothing, right? You can't split oh. push when you can't see past mid. Isles is already getting jumped on. Super Mega Death Rocket flies out. It won't find the target, so Isles is still alive. Danny and Inspired now have to deal with Fudge going towards them. Inspired's going to be focused first. Darshan going after Danny, but he gets away with the nail with the Gale Force. Fudge still in the endless rage, trying to get some sort of a kill anywhere. Inspired now running away, but he's stuck in the middle of four. He cannot get it. Cloud9 lose one, but kill two. The Drake is still alive now as well. Danny's hanging out mid. Darshan jumping in, looking for the kill, and he gets oh. them. A double kill for the Cloud9 top laner, and evil geniuses collapse against Cloud9. Cloud9 not ready to give up on this game quite yet. They can test the dragon, and the most important thing was how they split EG up. Yeah. Multiple members of EG tunneled on finishing off the Nautilus, the least important member of the fight, and it opened up the back line for the members of Cloud9 to find these opportunities, these split fights. And in those situations, they are going to win a lot of them. You see how quickly Darshan dismantles Danny. He's still 6-1. and one. We're talking about the gold league getting close to even, but there are still mismatches on the rift. Absolutely. To take down another tier 1 turret here in the bottom lane. They're working towards what you guys were talking about, opening up that map, making it so they can pull EG around and make them play their split push game instead. Inspired chasing after Isles, looking for the kill here. Super Mega Death Rocket finds it that time, and JoJo's the one on the rampage. Now Blabber and Sven are rotating. no go completely. And you see Trindamir split pushing up in the top lane. Fudge trying to take this down, but Jojo is up here. And we'll see if he can get the chase down. He's got the root. Looking for a little bit more. Gives him the thumbs up. Let's him know. 
Fudge running away. He's popping the ghost. He wants nothing to do with this, but JoJo can run just as fast. A 4v4 in the bottom side. River at the same time. Nobody's going to be taken low in that one just yet. Fudge going to start channeling the TP back. Well, not a TP, a recall. Super Mega Death Rocket tries to interrupt it, but it won't find the target. EG now grabs their second Drake. That is totally sacking pressure on one side of the map to make that play. Uh, as we see another Realm Warp. Oh, and here's right. Finn. This is what we're talking about. If he's caught, he's dead, but no! He gets away. They missed the last overload coming out. Oh, the oh, locket! Oh, and the locket saves him. Impact can't guarantee it either. C9 defends. Everybody stays alive. Man, Inspire really messed that up. He actually saved him with his ulti. He knocked him away. I, I think he thought he must have had the, the challenge yeah. on Karthus, but he did not. So instead, he knocks him right to safety. That would have been a guaranteed kill on the Karthus, and they committed quite a lot to that. That's the Flash, the TP, the ulti, all from Impact. So maybe you can 5v5 now at this next Dragon if you're C9. Darshan's off to the side. Oh. They're looking to see if they can catch C9 here. Blabber goes in early. He's going to take a lot of damage. Already down to half HP, and he's about Diddy's to get stunned up. Cloud9 is struggling in the 5v5. Venn dies in a good spot right on top of everybody else. Io's going to be taken down next. The ulti might find two. Vulcan goes first. The burn on JoJo is burning him away. EG still four men alive. Darshan, he's trying to cut them off or at least cut end. the wave, maybe. EG has so much time. Darshan goes in. Darshan goes down. C9 collapses. And it's EG with the ace. EG undefeated through the tournament, sweeping Cloud9 out of it. What a final team fight. That is all it took. Despite all of Cloud9's hard work, the game will end in under 30 minutes. EG keeping their promise alive. Going to see if they can keep it in the finals happening just tomorrow. There's a quick turnaround time oh, for yes. this team. But 